Che Fano off on a short dive today. Beautiful rainy day. <laughs> but you know what's the good thing about it being raining? Is that there's nobody out here. <laughs> Swells are starting to pick up. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's far like well, like a 20 minute, 30 minute walk just to get to the point and then I'm just gonna swim around there and yeah just have a look explore it's just beautiful out here let's make a bit of a mission over these rocks one of the beauties of shore diving <laughs> is that Sometimes it's a bit of a mission to get to the spot. Just for me, um, you hardly see me talk on my videos. <laughs> Still trying to gather the confidence to speak. Sometimes it's hard. Definitely this platform, family, my wife. It's a lot of encouragement, you know. Just being more confident. <laughs> Typically one low tide if you're Go for kinners and powers if they're any or crayfish. Because then you can, you know, you don't have to dive as deep to look for them. Still learning how to spare fish. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's been going okay, but I've never gone out and really just focused on spare fishing. But hopefully, it's get more better and see a lot of fish when it's about when the tide's coming in and normally I, I'm getting out of the water by then good to plan your dives um, do your research it's always good to dive with a buddy been doing this for a long time and been out by myself a long time mainly due to the fact that people don't want to <laughs> people don't want to do the mission that I do so <clears throat> hopefully this gives a little insight of how I get to my spot I typically when I find a spot, I aim for the, the point of the area and then I will go look around there but yeah, if you see something, see you in there just to give you a quick look at my setup so just have my spec guard here attached to the float line now I see a lot of common mistakes with you, especially with those short dives. It's like it's not that deep. Uh, I got I done a special knot here. I can't remember how to take it off, but if I <laughs> if I find the video, I'll put it on the link down below. But yeah, typically only make it like it's good like three meters. Uh, especially if you're short diving uh, and you're starting off, don't have this too long because. You get stuck in all the kelp here and all the reef when you're getting out and stuff. It's good to have a shot and it's less stress on you. If you have your safety flag, I don't know why nobody will be out here. <laughs> but anyway, good to be safe. So I'll see you out there. Ciao.
Nossa! O peixe faz tiro! Se dá uma rosada aí! Uhul! Happy with that! Olha aí, Valico! Isso aqui! Que da fogo! Man, looks like Christmas was a bit too slow. <laughs> Had a big hole in the back. Right. Yeah, it's just off in the reality. Just having a little break. There's a lot of crayfish out there too. Awesome. Awesome to see the good numbers out there. A lot of powers too, man. Heaps of powers. Well, nothing worth taking, so, you know, just leave them alone. Um, yeah, been swimming a few k's now. Good exercise. <laughs> But yeah, man, that's the one crayfish. I'm really stoked about that. But yeah, it's just awesome to be out here. Beautiful. Uh, probably look around for more crayfish and then probably start heading back in. <laughs> so sweet, sweet. Yeah, I know. Woo! Made it back. Damn. That was a bit of a mush. Hope you enjoyed that. See you on the next one. Kinder's looking alright, Vano. Bit of a mixed bag, but you know, some decent ones there. Beautiful.